Hello, I am Ines from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to create some nice realistic water in Adobe After Effects using only the effects integrated in After Effects, so no external plugins. So um, this is the effect what we are going for, so let me preview this. Looks pretty cool. So um, it's pretty easy to create, I've done this in like 5 minutes, um, but um, I'm going to try to explain it so it might take a little bit longer, I don't know. So let's get started, uh, click on new composition and then just enter your settings, I'm going for uh, 1080p, uh, 30 frame rate doesn't really matter, I'm going for 5 seconds, it doesn't have to be much longer and hit OK. Then what I'm going to do is right click over here, right click new, solid and I'm going to rename my solid to water. So hit OK once you've done that, go to effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. And once you've added the fractal noise, the fractal type should be uh, changed to dynamic and the noise type to linear. And then what you can do is just um, tweak the uh, contrast and brightness a little bit to 120 and negative 10. This is what I thought uh, was working for me, um, maybe even five, um, neg uh, negative 5 or negative 7 uh, would be a little bit better for me. And the complexity, let's change it to 4 because now it's too weak to complicate it. Um, then we're going to drop down the transform over here and we're going to scale it up to likes, let's say 150 um, and this is looking pretty fine. Okay, so once you've done that we are going to animate our uh, water so uh, we can see some... Um, some displacement happening there. So um, we're going to click on the transform again, click on offset turbulence and then just clear, uh, create a new keyframe at the beginning of our timeline then just drag uh, at the end of your timeline and then just change these, uh, these a little bit over here. Not too much so it do uh, doesn't go uh, as fast. Um, if you want it to go fast, yeah, just uh, change it a little bit more and then press U on the key uh, keyboard to reveal the keyframes and then just drag this out so it doesn't stop uh, at the end or doesn't fade out over here. So um, once you've done that, we are going to add our color for our water. Um, maybe uh, first we want to add an expression to evolution so we have a little bit more animation. Hold Alt on the keyboard, click on the stopwatch over here. And what we're going to type over here is in a little expression, time times 150. And that is going to animate our evolution and that's uh, just going to change uh, the way uh, it's over here. Because if, um, if I'm going to preview this, let me preview so you can see what I, we are doing here. Um, it's going not too fast over here. So uh, I'm going uh, I'm gonna to pause the video and come back once it's done. So be right back. Okay, so it's done rendering over here, so let's see what we have. Okay, so I'm going to render this. As you can see, um, the fractal noise is animating and it's going to the right because we animated the offset turbulence, but um, the animation is from the evolution, so this um, little expression just animated over time uh, without even have to keyframe it. It's a little bit easier than keyframing. Uh, in my opinion. So uh, once you have something looking like this we're going to add our colors to our water. Uh, we're going to effect and then going to color correction, tritone and this will just give um, the nice uh, colors for our highlights, midtones and shadows. So um, I like to work with the blue slash greenish um, water color, something like this over here and make it as realistic as possible. So um, I'm just going to pick some colors over here um, some mid, uh, mid blues over here and some dark ones as well so something like this should be working fine a little bit darker uh, this is a bit too bright okay there we go and uh, maybe a little bit lighter for the highlights okay so this is what I like um, this should be our water at the end um, what we want to do now once you have something like looking like this hold control and shift on the keyboard and then press C um, if you don't know what how to do that, um, just go to composition and um, no, I'm going to. Uh, it's a long time I've done this because I'm always using uh, my hotkeys right now. I'm going to layer precompose. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to layer and precompose this. Um, then move all the attributes to uh, a new composition and then just rename it to whatever you want. Water. Um, yeah, water fractal noise something like this and hit OK. 
So once you have something looking like this, what I like to do is um, add a glass to sell the effect. So at the effects and presets, we are going to enter. Um, if you don't see the effects and presets, go to window and then just check on the effects and presets. And once you've done that, go to the search and press CC um, space um, glass over here. So at stylize, if you don't find it over here, just click on the uh, on your layer, go to effect stylize. And you will find it on there as well. But I like to search my effects over here because uh, it's a lot faster. So um, I'm going to drag this and drop this on our layer. And that will give this glass effect over here. Now we have to tweak it a little bit to make it uh, a little bit realistic. Um, so let's tweak it over here. The softness I'm going to change it to 30 or 40. Something, um, yeah, let's say 35. Because, um, yeah, there we go. Um, the height we're going to change it to negative um, no we are going to change it to 50 and the displacement to negative 100 and as you can see already um, our water is coming through um, I'm going to change the height again to 100 uh, a little bit more let's say to 75 negative 75 what works well uh, let's say 75 will do yeah, it's working fine. So something like this. Uh, you can also tweak these uh, lights over here, um, whatever you want. Maybe a little bit more bluish light, not too much because uh, you don't want to sell the effect. You want to sell the effect just uh, a little touch over here. So this is our water. Um, if you're going to preview this, um, let me preview this by pausing the video and coming back once it's done. And then we can just add some text um, to, to um, yeah, for a title of a movie or whatever. Um, yeah, so be right back. Okay, so we're back over here. Um, so let's see what we have. And this is looking pretty fine. So now if you want to add some text um, that's also displacing uh, light water, um, just go to new and text and then just enter text. I'm going to enter ocean, something like this. I'm going to drag this down over here and I'm going to change the color to a nice gray bluish color. Um, first I got to select this of course. Okay, um, there we go. And now I just change the mode to screen or to add. And then I'm going to um, press T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity and then just change it to 60 or something like that. Uh, also, I'm, oh, I'm adding some um, blur, vector blur over here. And I'm going to change this amount to 15. So maybe even 10. Okay, there we go. So this is what I do for my text. Um, then I like to add a turbulent displacement, but you can also just... Um, click, um, well, you can also copy this layer over here um, and then go back to the other composition and paste it over here and then just delete the tritone and then just again pre-compose it by going to layer pre-compose and then just uh, displacement um, I don't know what this will give, uh, I didn't use it um, previous time but um, it's also a little a nice thing to know and um, so go to uh, your effects and presets, enter displacement and then just displacement map, drop this on the text and then just select your displacement over here uh, shut the eye off and then just change the um, horizontal displacement and vertical displacement um, to luminance I guess uh, that, that it was there we go and then if we are going to change this to 10, 10 or maybe even more 25, 25 no, not 25, it's too much. Um, let's say 15. There we go. And now if we are going to preview or render now, uh, be right back again. Okay, so let's preview this one. Yeah, it's looking pretty fine over here. So I really like the effect because it's um, just copying the same uh, exact animation of our water over here and then just adds it to a displacement of our text. So it's looking pretty re uh, realistic over here. Um, so what you can do as well is add a blur and opacity to your text to um, get a nice transition in. Um, so I'm going to add some false blur because um, it's uh, a little bit rendering, uh, it's rendering a lot faster actually. Uh, change it to 100 keyframe stopwatch over here. Move in time like let's say one and a half seconds and change it to zero. 
and press T on the keyboard to reveal the opacity um, over here click a uh, stopwatch over here at the end uh, of the same keyframe of our blur and then just go back to the uh, first frame of our um, composition and then just uh, hit a zero on the keyboard and the opacity will be changed to zero percent and what you can do all as, uh, as well is selecting your last keyframes right click and go to keyframe assistance and click on easy ease or press F9 on the keyboard so um, if we preview this pretty smooth and nice um, transition uh, for the final touch uh, for your ocean looking effect uh, what we can do is add a vignette uh, at the corners over here and that really does give a nice touch uh, to your composition and if we're going to new solid um, and we are going to enter vignette as a name and just hit OK and then just go to effect um, well, we're not going to do it uh, with effect. I'm just going to do it with our mask over here. So just drag and drop over here to the ellipse tool. Then double click on the ellipse tool. Make sure your uh, uh, solid layer was selected when you do this. And then go to the mask and go to subtract instead of add. Then press v um, F on the keyboard to feather your mask and change to like 400 or something like that. And then just change the mode to an overlay. Now press T on the keyboard and change the opacity to 60 and then press MM, double tap it um, to reveal the uh, mask options and the, for the mask expansion just change it to negative 50 or something or maybe negative 75 uh, over there. Um, you can also change the opacity back to 70 maybe um, to get it a little bit darker over here at the corners and depending on what uh, look you're going for. Um, if you are using this tutorial in your own project, please um, just post a video response um, of what you have done. And I'm sorry for this um, Amazon pop-up. Um, just um, just post a video response. I like to see what you guys came up with, came up with um, using my tutorials. So um, be sure to do that. Uh, also, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if it's your first time, um, be sure to check out my channel. I have a lot of other tutorials. <laughs> out there for all kinds of software, Cinema 4D, After Effects, Photoshop. Um, I also have a website at toleratedcinematics.com with a nice overview over there and with a blog and inspiration and all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching and goodbye. Take care.